Alright guys, in this video I'll show you how you can uh, quickly inherit the settings from one magnet field data collector to another without having to go into you know, configure and survey and then going through all of the configurations over here and inheriting the correct ones. Um, that's one way of doing it, but it's a hard way of doing it. Um, so, uh, you can see that I have certain configurations, many of them in here, GPS configurations and optical configurations. What I will do is I'll actually exit out of magnet. So I'm closing out magnet. I'll show you how to exit now. We'll say yes. Um, where you can find the actual file that you can then move from one data collector to the other data collector to inherit the proper settings is right here. So you will this carries through on an FC 5000, on an FC 6000, any uh, PC um, will be found over here. So notice I'm in just File Explorer. I am going to go into my C drive, which is my main drive, into Users. In Users, I'm going to be picking the users that I have the software installed on on an FC 5000 it'll be called FC 5000, 6000 in my case I'm on a laptop mine's called Titan VR so going in here and now you'll be seeing a lot of folders over here if you do not see this folder which is called app data that's because in your view over here you have uh, hidden items hidden so if I uncheck it, I will not see app data over here. So just make sure that your hidden items are on. That way app data appears and you can now double click app data. And you want to go into roaming in here. And under roaming, you want to scroll down until you see magnet field PC. Magnet field PC will have, again, tons of files, but the one that matters is called styles. And that's styles as a TS styles, so that's the total station styles, or uh, whatever they it, it actually stands for. But th this is the file that you want. So I'll actually right-click this, copy it, and this is where I'll copy it onto uh, either my thumb drive or whatever I else I have. And well, I'll just uh, this is a thumb drive I have on my computer. I'll just copy it in here. So paste in here. It shows up here right now, and I'm kind of done. I have a copy of all of my settings that I want uh, to inherit from the installation of magnet field that I just closed. Now, on the new device that I'm bringing in uh, these settings to, what you want to do is I will uh, once again open up the browser, of course, over here, uh, File Explorer, and in File Explorer, uh, imagine that I uh, am going to do the reverse obviously so I'll go back into local disk on the new device again I am for the sake of the video it, this is the same device that I'm doing it to but uh, you'll go into users once again I'll find my uh, folder for the username app data once again and I'll go into roaming and what I'll do is I'll find my field PC folder again and for this exercise, I actually have a different uh, uh, configuration file. So I will copy it from my thumb drive again. My thumb drive happens to be, again, the same one. I am not grabbing the same file that I just copied onto it. Oh, it's a new one, so uh, bear with me. So over here, I'm copying it from a different uh, device. It happens to be on a thumb drive. I'll copy it from here, and we'll just go back to uh, the location where I what I which I just left meaning users uh, Titan app data roaming magnet field PC and I'll just right click and paste it in here when you paste it I'll say do you want to replace the file in this destination I'll say yes it replaces the file you can now close this which means if I now open up magnet field field without doing anything you saw the number of uh, files that I actually had in there I'm just running a demo version so we can ignore this prompt but if I go into home 
configure survey and now check my check out my actual uh, instruments these instruments are the instruments that were loaded um, by me having moved that styles TS styles uh, file over so in the past or at the beginning of the video you saw I had many of them here now I'm actually showing only the ones that I actually had on that newly imported TS uh, styles uh, file so at the end of the day uh, the one thing that you need to remember is the fact that uh, that file location being in your C drive users folder mm, Titan VR your app data again remember if it's not showing the app data thing it's just because you in your view you have this unchecked over here so make sure that this is checked uh, it lives under roaming and magnet field PC in here this is the file that whatever data collector you have if you copy this file out of it and then copy the same file over into a new data collector that you want to inherit the settings of this guy's um, configuration onto it will it essentially carry over so this is where the, the file that you may want to back up or share on your on your cloud drive for everybody to have access to it uh, the only thing that you may want to uh, be uh, wary about is if you're using network configurations and you're actually uh, let me rerun this magnet uh, magnet field again um, if you have 10 data collectors for example with 10 different usernames and passwords copying only one configuration will maintain one username and password so every time you uh, create a configuration and it is inherited by you having just copied a that that uh, styles.ts styles uh, file over you will have to go in the network configuration for example that I have over here and just making sure that the username which in here uh, happens to be blurred out just because I'm using my own credentials over here but I don't want to have the same credentials on every receiver because uh, network connection will not allow me to do multiple connections unless uh, you have a different uh, what uh, agreement or a contract with your network provider all right so just make sure that this is what changes per your receiver but otherwise all of the other settings will uh, be inherited properly well hopefully this was a useful video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.